Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another round, another thing, another <laughs> not my best intro, Nima. Help me. <laughs> it's it's the terraforming Mars League. This is cardboard for Mars, in case you didn't know what you were watching. And uh, we're in the losers bracket here, fighting to claw our way out of it. And we don't have good corpse to start with, do we? Well. Not great. I mean, let's take a look here. So we've got Inventrix and Helion. Hmm. Well, Helion Soleta. Yeah, but like, it's not even that good, right? Because like, it takes. Well, I mean, I guess you can't. I don't think you have enough to play it on turn one. Right, let's see here. Helion, you get 42. Yeah, you don't even have enough money to play it on turn one. Also, come on, man. Like, we're going to play Inventrix. Like, let's just be obvious here. I mean... Uh, uh, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> are you trying to win or are we trying to have fun? Like, let, come on. Well, this is for all the marbles, man. Um... I don't know. I, I feel carbonate processing too. We don't have any power though. Don't have any power. Um, it's like this pretty helion y man. Think so. I mean, we so we take giant dice asteroid, and no matter what, right? Yeah, I think I, I think we do. Um, I mean, we got Soleta and Carbonate Processing. Let's, you know. I mean, let's let's just compare Ice Asteroid to Soleta. Like, Soleta is going to take, like, five or six generations to get the money back out of it. I, I guess we'll get some energy. Heat you, you don't do it for the money, remember? I mean, like, you can use it for money, but it's not the best use. Um, I think that Ice Asteroid is just better early, right? Because you get the you get the card, you get four bumps right away, and you get the you know the placement bonuses on the oceans, which are good early. Well, listen, I mean, if we take Helion, we got to take Soleta. That would be ridiculous, right? I'm not. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not even sure it's good to be honest with you. Like, it's so expensive. Like, you can't play anything on turn one. So you're basically gonna get like. You play it on turn two, and then over the course of the game, you get a bunch of bumps. But I, I mean, like it's I I guess it's okay. I, like listen, we don't have to do Helion. Like we, uh, there is like some hope for an Inventrix hand here. I, I might even take Livestock honestly, um, as Inventrix. I mean, I think I think I think we take Helion with this draw, and we're we're like just guaranteed we're gonna lose by fifteen. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> That's my feeling. But, um, uh, no, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't feel strongly about it. I mean, you could be right. I, I generally don't like Soleta. Um, I, I know. I hear you, man. Like it's not Heli Helion and heat, heavy heat strategy is not great anyway. So I'm kind of coming around to the Inventrix thing. Uh, if you, uh, but I, I mean, if you feel strongly, I'm totally. I, I think I it's don't. totally I reasonable don't. line. But I, my, if I were gonna go with my gut here, I would go Inventrix. I'd take Search for Life. I'd take the, this card, this card, and Business Contacts and Livestock, and just see what happens. And maybe, yeah. maybe even GHG, although it's at four percent, two percent for us. Oh, good point. Yeah, I yeah, I would take this. So. I don't know. I would probably That's go. That's fine. Yeah, do it. Do Inventrix. I mean, it's just more fun anyway. If we're gonna get creamed, we might as well have fun, right? Hmm. That's what she said. Okay. Um, let's see here. <laughs> and we're no longer. <laughs> we're no longer a family friendly stream. Um, what do you think? Like that, or do you want to take carbonate processing? Um, no, I don't want to take carbonate. Do you, are you do you agree with these events or or? Um... Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. So we're gonna draw three. So we're gonna have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can eight, probably nine. easily get planner. Yeah, pass turn one, head for planner, see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Boom. 
Um, so, great. We're playing Credicor and Tharsis. Good times. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> That's well, great. The two best corps in the game against the King Ventrix. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. I know. Uh, yeah. Come on, it'll, it'll, it'll make our win even sweeter. Dude, yeah, there you go. There you go. Why don't we why don't we have this number one guy play our hand? <laughs> See if he you know. Alright, here we go. Big draws. Ooh, research outpost. That's a nice draw. Okay. That's a nice pickup, dude. The micro mills. And artificial lake, I think. I mean, we could just rock out the asteroid right now and pick up some more cards and some titanium. Yeah, we could. I mean, it is nice to play outpost first, but um, I mean, nicer to nicer to quickly get the cards. What do you think, dude? I mean, I guess we lose we lose one credit, but yeah, that's not that big a deal. Maybe we take the steel actually, so we can use it to play outpost. Do that. Decent, yeah, decent idea. What do you think? Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Dude, let's do it, dude. Let's, dude. You let's don't freaking play, you, do it. You don't. You don't win if you don't. Wait, what's that quote? You don't. You miss all the hits that you didn't swing at, or something. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you miss all the shots you don't take. Perfect. See, I knew you knew it. All right, magnetic field and artificial lake. Oh, strip mine. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Better. So we need some power. So this is actually pretty decent. We have a lot of global requirement cards in our hand. That's good for Inventrix. I agree. Yeah. I'm I well, so I I think what we do, Nima, is we we probably end up just passing for a couple generations here, build up some money, get planner, and then try and unleash strip mine and 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 un unload. Yeah. It's probably what's gonna happen. Might get some cheap economy that we want to play, but otherwise. Right. No. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, and we really want to play the outpost if we can before we get going on everything. But just because that's the kind of yeah. thing where it kind of you know you you de it definitely snowballs if you give it the time. Um. Uh, well. There you have Here it. We are. Here we are. Microorganisms. Interesting. All right. Oh, well, someone's going heavy ground game. As is the want of Tharsis. Okay, those guys are stockpiling cash. I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. I see you. <laughs> all the all the money and all the good cards and all the corporations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a good way to win. Um, wow. Probably just demos. Yeah. I mean, it's just. I mean, shuttles is also good. Sure. But um, I don't love passing demos. On the other hand, like we're not gonna get to. We're not gonna get to ice asteroid. Probably not do Ice Asteroid and Demos. Like, we could just take Shuttles. Well, I, I, like you said, I'd I don't think... I'd rather not pass Demos. I don't want to pass Shuttles either. But I, I could take... It's fine, we could take Demos. Don't really, it doesn't really seem equivalent to me. No, Shuttles, just like those economy cards are good. And passing Demos to, uh, to uh, Credit Core does not seem great, because they get the discount too. Yep. So, I agree. You right. <sighs> so, we still uh, need to take cards, though. Yeah, yeah, no, I think we're going to buy that. Don't you? Yeah. Um, so, what's nice is that uh, one of the players is on their phone uh, because it was, like, just whatever, because of the, like, weird 
necessity of playing tonight. And uh, so we're playing with an hour. Oh, oh, he's playing the TM app on his phone. Yeah, and so he that's requested true. that we play a little longer in case there's issues with connections and stuff like that. So that's nice for us. Gotcha. Because we always run into the time. And... That way we can experience the agony of this defeat for just a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're going to need to prioritize power, right? I mean... That's sort of the main thing. Ooh. Oh, come now. Well. God, Peroxide Power is so good, but Olympus Conference is so good. Oh, man. Well, I mean, that's the power right there. No, but I, like, I think we have to take that Olympus Conference. Yeah, we might. How many tags do we have right now? Well, we've four. got, we get one, one with the thing, and then yeah. we've got two, three, four to be five like it's just this is such a good card for us yeah it is pretty good i mean i do like peroxide power i don't even want that negative one right now i think we just take conference dude okay you okay with that yep it'll draw us a lot of cards i mean i i will say that could be a uh that could that could pick could come back to bite us i mean fish you know like when you need power you need power like i, I totally get that but i think that card is just too good for us And also, it just sucks passing those sorts of engine cards to other people because that card really can go off. It can draw you, like, five cards or something. You know what I mean? He's already got one thing that draws him a card every turn. And I think we're just taking almost all those cards, and then we're just passing, right? Yeah, I don't think... I'll take a look real quick, but I don't think there's anything else for us to do. <laughs> I think we skip liking, huh? I'm not liking it, dude. <laughs> sure. All right. So we're at 13 cards. We just passed this gen. Um, There's no need, no need to play this stuff right now. No. I mean, the only thing I would consider is business contacts. But I think I'd rather just save the cash right now. Because, like, yeah. if we get the media group or something, you know, like... Yeah. You agree? I think so. I don't. I don't think uh, there's no real cheap economy for us to play other than micro mills, which sucks. Yeah. I definitely want to play these types of cards after we play outpost, right? I mean, they're they're literally thirty three percent cheaper if you. <laughs> right. I don't know that that power. I'm curious to what the what other people think about that power card pick because. No, yeah, I don't know. I think that was the right call, man. Because there's there's a lot of power cards, but there's not. I mean, there's two science card draw. Right. That's what I was. I think that's a good way of putting it, Nima. That basically the power is less unique, but the problem is. It's there's still not a lot of it. Like I mean, you know, you can you there are definitely games where you can be power poor. I don't know, dude. We're going science here. Like that's true. That actually is true. Like we could totally get bailed out if we get uh, mass converter or even the other one would be good in this game. Quantum. Yeah, because we already have a tag. So if we played research outpost search for life, we'd already almost be at the requirements we need for. Um. Yep. How many cards do these guys have? 11. Yeah, is he going to beat us to Planner? Yeah. He's going to take four cards and buy a card and beat us to Planner. Uh, I hope not. That's just unlucky. I mean, that's just a, a quirk of the of the way that the thing was set up. Gross. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, like, this is turning into an unwinnable game. Well, ho hold on, hold on. How does what's it? How does he get? He has to get five cards, right? He's got restricted area. Right. So he just buys his four cards, and then he takes restricted area and takes planner. Dang. Well, we need to think about inhibiting Tharsis. 
Yeah, I mean, I think this game's already over, dude. Well, wow, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the truth. Um, all right, we're passing up this time to Meow, I guess. I think we just uh, take Adventures Guild. Yeah. I mean, Greenhouse is also good. I also like Invention Contest, but I think Adventures Guild is a is a tag on the board. I don't I don't know. You could convince me to take Invention Contest over. No, guild. I think it's Inventors Guild. Problem is, we're already cash poor, and like I don't we don't I don't know if we have the luxury to. Yeah, that's true. That's my only. Yeah. That's my only thought, but. Well, then cut something then that would be advantageous like uh how do you, honestly steelworks would be good for us at some point let's just take the adventures guild okay or do you or, or what do you you want you want to take steelworks over that we have no power yeah kind of, i mean like we're assuming we're going to get into the payoff cards i think the only way we win this game now that i'm thinking about it is if we like like it's cards like guild that are going to do it for us where we can see a lot of cards Okay. Like, I was just thinking, we don't actually have a repeatable card draw. I think we should take the guild, actually. I know okay. I just I know okay. I just flipped 180, but... <laughs> if you want the Steelworks, that's fine with me. I don't, I don't feel super strong. But I do feel like the way we win is we, we get some of the combo cards and kind of go off. But if we don't do that, we have no chance. Like, the one guy's already played uh, Earth Catapults, Gen 3. And the other guy is going to steal our milestone. Okay, take it. Ugh, gross power grid. Not help us. Probably just lava flows, huh? Sure. Terrible pack. If we get hackers, then I'm just going to quit and go play, play the Spire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just forfeit like a <laughs> chump. I I uh, I don't mind playing Inventrix. It's not a good corporation, but I actually like playing Inventrix. Hey Carpe, hey Dave Fury. Glad some people could make it this late. It was, this is when this game had to happen, so appreciate you guys being on. Yeah, for those of you coming on where this is the uh losers bracket uh TM League match. Oh, snap. Investment loan. Yes. Nice. That is nice. That is an Enceladus poster, Lego. Good eye. Wow, greenhouses came around? I think we're taking these three. You really want greenhouses? Yeah, Greenhouse is great, dude. And it's, sure, it's a good card. Let's keep those three. Okay. Just on the off chance he doesn't take. No, he's, <laughs> planner. He's, he's doing it. That's... I know. Um, so, let's see here. So, what do we do this turn? So, we play... You want to start getting our card draw going? Maybe get Conference and... Uh, play conference and research or inventors guild and start looking for stuff. Um, well, I would think you'd want to get a research outpost down first. Yeah, no, you're right. I don't know if we can afford all that. No, we probably can't, but you still probably want to do that. So we go. Yeah, that one's brutal. It sucks. Um, that's just unlucky for us. Well played by him, but unlucky for us. Um, yep. So let's see here. Uh, if we play Outpost into Conference, that's twenty. That's going to cost us 27. And then we would play Ventures Guild. We wouldn't have enough unless we played Investment Loan. I guess we just delay one more generation. Yeah, I mean, like, like, what's the big rush exactly? I mean, other than you know, it's better to play stuff early, but 
No, I agree. I think we just wait another gen. And just so, de deploy a bunch of stuff. I mean, so the, walk, walk through that again. Research outpost. Okay, so the 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 disadvantage of of skipping a generation is that we don't get to see a card off Inventors Guild, so we see one fewer card. Okay. But we really do want to, we really do want to get Olympus Conference down before we deploy Inventors Guild Search for Life, right? Sure. And I think you're right. We do want to get Research Outpost down before we start. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think we just pass. Look for more synergies. It's all good. I mean, <clears throat> you know, like it'd be great if we got Media Group or something like. That. I mean, I don't know. I, again, we're we're not winning unless we combo off here. So I think we just pass. Wow. Okay. Or did, did you want to play something? It's not. I mean, it's not really that important that we do play outposts unless you want to stake some claim to an area well i mean it, it's just that if you're going to play outposts and then three other cards you, you the cash starts adding up no i know i know that but like what about just outpost i don't think i mean that just doesn't do anything like it you know what i mean it's, like it, it claims an area is what i'm saying yeah i think we're good though there's still plenty of spots that are good okay I mean, I, I don't think it's that. I don't. I think it'd be nice to be a little more flexible and just see what we get. I, I don't know. I mean, what if we get some power and then we just play strip mine or something like that? Like. Okay, fine. That's good. A lot of passing here. So here's the problem with purple taking planner. We, we talk about this in our corp video. Like you generally want to take, you want to be fighting Tharsis on the milestones. Like Thars, for Tharsis, it's fairly easy to get two milestones compared to the other corps. So it's, it behooves the other players to take on Tharsis in the milestone fight. Now that he's done that to us, it's like it's much more likely that Darsus will get two milestones. Um, yeah, but I mean, he he effectively just like I mean, he basically eliminated us from the game. I, I mean, like I, I I don't mean to be like pessimistic, but with the start that we had, we we needed those we needed those points. Um, so I mean, that's that's strong play. You know, I mean, he basically like taking a milestone from another, from one of your opponent, like that one of your opponents was banking on, is a very solid way to to sure to dramatically reduce their chances at victory. And, so. and what I'm saying is, I'm it's making it a lot more likely for Tharsis to win it all. Yeah, but I mean, he but that guy doesn't know that our hand is kind of crappy. I mean, he can probably intuit somewhat because. We didn't do anything for four generations, but um, he doesn't know that for sure. And I mean, that's a, I mean, it's a very solid play to just build a bunch of cards and then just, you know, deploy them. I mean, that, we've yeah. talked about that before. That's a strategy that works pretty well. So pur purple, purple took steelworks, looks like. Yeah. Dang. Built himself for power up. That's a steelworks play. Hello, colony ship. Good card for us. What do we need right now? Some power. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, great. Hey, everyone. Nate's already checked out. It's going to be a good game. I've checked out a little bit. I'm I'm not feeling optimistic about this one. Well, I can just go to bed if you want. That's cool with me. No. We're, we're, if this is going to be miserable, we're going to be miserable together, Nima. <laughs> is that what has to happen? I'm not sure that it does. I mean, it doesn't have to, but it'd be much more congenial. <laughs> Yeah, man, I just had a long day. Tired. Pooped. Do 
Just doing a lot of cutting and sawing. I did do some. I did some. I did a cool case today. Actually, it did involve a saw and it did involve cutting. Whoa! Do you know that? Do you know that scene in um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom where the dude like takes his hand and just puts it like right into the other guy's chest and pulls out his still beating heart and then the guy like looks at it and he's like, "Oh my god!" and then like you know. You know what I'm talking about? I sure do. I did that today. Yeah, right. Basically. What do you mean? Like you don't you don't do heart surgery. <laughs> um, I did something similar today. All right, let's see here. Um And you showed it to you woke him up and showed it to him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we didn't remove it, so. All right. Um what do you think about I don't, I don't know. All these cards. Uh, they're terrible. I guess Consortium. You like Consortium? We don't have any power, though, so we can't play it. I know, but maybe we will and someone could play it on us. That's the best I can think. The only thing is that this guy does have Earth Office. That's my only thought. Uh, okay. We're passing to... I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's not that good of a card, though. All right, you want me to play... Uh, you want Consortium? Yeah, uh, uh, it's got two, oh, whatever. If these all suck, I don't care. Just take one. Hmm. Probably the infrastructure just prevent him from using that energy for money. Eh, it's, also, it's, also a, it's also a building tag. and At this point, I'm rooting for uh, Meow. <laughs> Just kind of just feeling a little butt hurt. I'm a little butt hurt, not gonna lie. Also, everyone loves an underdog. All right, I guess we just take Interstellar. Yep. All right. Um. All right. Well, we gotta do something. You wanna you wanna just fire off the, our plan and just start drawing some cards. Yep. Or do you wanna go for? Yeah, we're the underdog wolf, but um, but uh, Fake Life is the apparently the number one ranked player on on the program on Steam. So I think Meow and I are the underdog. So I'm rooting for Meow now. So we go Outpost and Olympus. Out, yeah, Outpost Olympus and. We just basically decide we're not going to work on economy at all this game. Because <laughs> why Why would we do that? I mean, that's just such a waste of time. I mean, <laughs> right? Am I right? Yep. Okay, good. Glad you agree. Um, <clears throat> where do you want to put this uh, outpost? We could pick up some steel. Not a great spot for this thing, but we could also pick up a card and just play it here. That's not bad. Cut green off a little bit. You want to pick up a card? I guess. Um, well, where do you want to put it, dude? I sure. That's, I mean, that's what she said. No oh boy. So steals <laughs> steals decent. You could go to the here to the left of the purple and like uh, here. Yeah, you could do that. So the right, yeah research. You can't play it next to a tile, right? Right. So it, ha it would have to be, like, if we want the resources, it'd be here or here, or or we could throw it over here, which is also a good spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it might just be worth, like, staking an area out, right? Well, you tell me, dude. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Seeing as we have no economy, probably take some steel. Do you want to pay one more for Re Olympus and then we get another trigger on Research Outpost if we go Olympus and then Research? Interesting idea. I think we should do that. Okay. Draw a card. All right, where do you want to put the Outpost? Get some steel. Like uh, here? That works. Or a card. Since we have no economy, I would say steel. We have a lot of card draw. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
All right, see what we got, dude. Could be, could be a. It's the decider card. Um, Eos Chasma. That was not the decider. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the decider, Neva. Come on, dude. We gotta start thinking like Adventurix. So, like, what are the cards we can get down early? You know. Let's play Search for Life and Inventors Guild next. Okay. I mean, just so we can draw another card and see another card. It lets us see two more cards. Sure does. Dude, you're so fired up about this. <laughs> All right, here's what happens. If, if, we had, if we still have nothing to do after this next turn, we should just devote the entire game to messing up the guy who's clearly going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, there's nothing better than king making. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, you steal our milestone, you get what you sow. <laughs> so we can still play a lot of stuff this turn too, because we can always investment guild if we want to. Um, I mean, it might have just been better to play, like, Ice Asteroid or something, but... I don't know, whatever. You know what I hope we get now is, um... Shoot, what's that science card with the... Adapted, adapt, ad adaptation technology, I think? Yeah. I hope we get that now. Get us, like, big time, plus four, minus four global requirements. Just for funds. I'm sure one of these guys already has anti-grav. That would suck. What did we get here? Ooh, media archives. That's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, we still have not got any engine cards. I think we uh, we shoot off business contacts. I guess we could just keep waiting until media group pops up, but I don't know. Meh. Media group would be nice, but yeah, it would. A lot, of it. a lot of things would be nice. Uh, also, we could just play a Demos and Giant Ice Asteroid and just end the game quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be some sort of economy. Is there any way we can get into Terraformer? Caretaker contract. Nope. All right, here we go. You ready? <laughs> Come on now. We deserve that, dude. For once, we really do. Um, we can play GHG. Could, yeah. Um, you want to just pass here, or do you want to you want to shoot off? Uh... I mean, GHG is like it's not bad. He's seeing where you can we're playing it two generations early. Uh we could do we could we could play business contacts, see what we get, or we could play GHG. Um I'm kind of feeling GHG. I just want to have some fun now. Okay. Let's see. Fine with that. Alright, let's just pass and we'll see what we get. Well, we have a lot of science tags, so if we get some payoffs, it'll be helpful. Yep. You can find scientists, maybe. Yeah, I think we, I, well, we shall see. we we'll probably lose that one, too. All right. Oh, sabotage. Power plant. Only gives us one, though. What are we look, what are we, how are we looking on uh Standard uh, technology is not bad either. For power? Yep. I kind of like just sabotage, though, and just like... I mean, that doesn't... But I don't know, man. We, we really need the help. Yeah, but we can't... If somebody sabotaged us, we're just like so brutal. We have like... I don't know. That's, that's not good use of their... That's not good use of that card. You only have two steel. 
Seven. It's the seven cash is still a lot. Yeah. I, we're not going to play any of these cards. We're not going to pay eight on standard tech. You think so? We already have six tags. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. You can pick whatever you want. I would take, take this. Power, take power plant. Power plant. You don't think so? Okay. It's fine. I wouldn't have taken that one, but I don't. I don't feel super strongly about it. Um, space. It's a little late for space elevator, but it is. An indentured worker is also. Is it late for space elevator? No one's. There's hardly any terraforming. We just don't have a way to make steel. I guess. I guess we could. Can't play it this turn. That's the problem. Well, if it was the only card we took, we could. Yeah, I guess if we sold, if we did a steal. But really, it is is titanium even useful for us right now? And we have a lot of these big events. That's true. So yes. Plus, that steal ability is nice. It's fine. Anyway. I mean, just take that anyway. All right, just so we can hack it from. If nothing else. Maybe we should have taken heat trappers. Thought of that. Um, I'm just gonna take mangrove. I don't care if somebody has corporate stronghold. The Zeppelins is a bump of three. Maybe hmm. Zepp maybe Zeppelins. Yeah, and we can play that early too, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna take Zeppelins and Power Plant. Not, yeah. Oh, you want power? Okay. Yeah, oh, maybe. you oh you wanted to just cut it? Well no, I I didn't think you wanted it, so <laughs> Well, I mean I I I mean strip mine's still a reasonable play, but we don't we just don't have any power. I mean I it's I guess it's fine, but it's Yeah, strip mine might be a way to get us into this game, man. Well, I mean, I guess I'd rather take space elevator. I mean, maybe right. you want to just take space elevator and cut zeppelins and just play it this turn. Not, it's not a terrible play, honestly. I guess. Let's do that, and then we can look at our. We can do this first, and then we could maybe sell some crappy cards, and if we have them, and and then have and then see a card off of. Uh... Well, we can definitely change the steel into five bucks. Yeah. So let, oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do space elevator. Okay. You don't sound excited about that. I don't know. This is a, tr this is a tricky choice. I think that's a. I think that's actually these. I think that's these. I'm not going to use any... No, 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 no. I'm going to do this right now. Yes. See, now now it's not even worth taking seven money. We don't even have seven money to take. That's true. Um, How do we like the prelude on this, on this app? Uh, I mean, they did... They did a good job implementing it. I don't know. I think I think I like I more I like Prelude a little bit more than I used to, but that's not saying much. So we'll draw a card. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow. Well, there goes three points for him. We can do a heat bump this turn. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, have to get the second one on there. Let's go heavy micro. 
That's a great strategy. <laughs> it might be okay to give like that one card that lets you put microbes on another card. Um, yeah, there's two of those. There's um, Extreme Cold Fungus, which we already saw in the past. See you, Dead Fury. Thanks for joining, man. Thanks, Dead Fury. Yeah. Thank you. And that's not going to happen at all, so <laughs> don't get your hopes up. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, oh, here we go. Bam. Come on now. Water splitting plant. Oh. Oh, you like that one? I thought we remember. I thought we would remember, play... dude. We're expecting science payoffs. That's true. That's true. I, I guess I was thinking we would play strip mine if we had power, but um... we can do both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I guess yeah, I guess we yeah, you're right. All right, could have done that. Dude, he's he's liking that. That one never gets old. Huh, admit it. Yeah, it, it never does. Or or wait, it doesn't mean. <laughs> uh you wanna play micro mills? Just get our heat engine going? <laughs> Sweet. Dude, hell yeah, dude. No. Uh, no. No, you don't want to? No. It's a ridiculously bad card. All right, let's see. Can we do anything else? So we do have this investment loan. We'll save it for when we get power next turn. Yep. <clears throat> We're going to pull a mass converter and everything's going to turn around for us. All right. Do we have any shot at a milestone? No. No. I mean, what we probably should have just done was like gotten the strip mine going. That probably would have been better. But we could take deep well heating. This with oh, did we we did we take the uh, the energy card? No, we didn't. So we only have one energy. Um. Still though. Yeah, nonetheless, I think that's probably the one, right? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Actually, energy saving is good for us. There's one, two, three cities on the board. Yeah, that is good. Like that. Oh, man, I really want adaptation tech, but it's energy saving. This is good. This is gets our strip mine going. I mean, lightning harvest week is pretty good. Yeah, but I think the strip mine gives us, or the energy saving gives us three. Yeah. Dang, that's too bad. Yeah, Carpe, that's exactly what I do. I usually play with the new corpse, but I don't play with the Prelude because it's too unbalanced. And honestly, the games that I've played have been fine that way. Um, it seems like the better players tend to, well, I don't know, but the games seem better without the Preludes. You tend to get people who are stronger. I don't know. Oh, another, another one. Ooh, actually, Martian Rails could be good, too. Um, yeah, good. I don't know if we can have time for it, though. I don't think we need fuel generators now because we have energy saving. Right. Um, and I like this negative one's going to be really bad, but. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, do it. I think we cut the rails. That's fine. Question is, do we keep Martian Rails? I guess it's Gen Six already. 
Probably not. Yeah, one more city. Yeah, it's going to take a few more cities. Like, it, it can be good if we had played it a little earlier, but I think it might just be a touch late. I, I do like energy saving over deep well. If we just take this one card. The okay. problem is I don't think we can... We can't even... Well, we might be able to afford it with investment loan to go energy saving into a strip mine. So I think we just do this, huh? Okay. Let's let's look at that. So we play energy saving for how much does that one cost? Fourteen. Uh, fourteen. So we have nine. Twenty-eight plus oh. eight is thirty-six. We have fourteen. And 24, so we're 38. So we'd have to sell two cards, but we could do it. I think we should do that. I think we should get that going this turn. Okay. That's a good play for us. The only bummer is it would be nice to try and get this uh, this heat bump. Not worth it, but... I, I don't think it's worth it to wait. No, it's not. We need economy, and we need it now. Let's see what we get here. So let's do that first before someone ganks our stuff. And then let's just pass. We might be able to get the heat bump for the this. Actually, so he's going to bump the oxygen. Huh. There there is a world in which we could if he plays if he plays a greenery now for whatever reason just to i don't know protect these plants we could get it that'd be sweet that'd actually be yeah that'd be rad cuz actually we would get we could get this heat bump too at the same turn so sick man dude if he asteroid mining consortiums us i'm just going to quit <laughs> okay i'm just telling you all right, let's look at our card. Comet. Yeah. Problem is we're on such a money crunch right now. Yeah, we have so much. We have vast, we have Deimos and we have Giant Dice Asteroid. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm slow rolling this one, Nima, because I'm hoping somebody plays another city. He's obviously not going to, but he, yeah, he's not either at this point. I mean, the thing is, we could, if we wait a turn, we could get this heat bump. But it's so, it's so valuable for us because we make the steel, too. I think we have to, I think we do it. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want... So what cards are we going to sell? Micro mills and... Uh... Probably micro mills and magnetic field. Magnetic, generator. yeah, exactly. This card can be good at the end, but seldom is. We could sell artificial lake too. Honestly, that's probably. I would. I would sooner sell magnetic field though. Just the way the heat's going though, I'd like this. This, this the oceans are going to be done before this card comes out. But you, but it is a steel card. Oh no! So this so is this one. I think we should actually keep this one. But let's start with energy saving. Yeah. So we're going to go... Don't really like floating that power. I guess we don't have to. Yeah, we we, have, we right. only need two of it. But. Yeah, and one of, them's, one, of the, one of them has been used. So... One of the hack, hackers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, there there is an extant one that I... I can't remember if we hacked it or passed it. I think I hacked it, actually, the second one. Power supply <clears> consortium. <throat> so we're going to set Meow up to take the... The thing, but I think it's just too good. All right, so let's go. 
I'm gonna sell two cards. I'm gonna sell two cards. If he has that sabotage right now, it'd be so brutal. What do you mean? Because like if he if we if he re recognizes that we sold two cards that we're what? trying to set up a play. If he hacks us right now for seven, it would just end our turn. It would be brutal. That's all I'm saying. Why, why didn't you just play the card? Well, because I, I have to play. I have to play one more to do it. Oh, I see. Because I have to play that. Enter the. Um, he didn't do it though. I have to play investment loan. Gotcha. Yeah, that's big for us. I don't even care if uh, we're we're setting up green to get this bump, but I don't even care. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sell eleven euro cars to standard cities into mayor. Good strat. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna bump the heat right now. I'm going to add another microbe here. Okay. Because I can't. I can't stomach allowing him to get both bonuses off of our. All right. I mean, I guess there's a. Outside chance we could go for Terraformer, but no, I mean, we're gonna, this guy's gonna get Gardener and then he's just one city away from Mayor, so we have no chance on that. Pretty much. <clears throat> Let's start a new poll here. <laughs> How many points will we lose by? <laughs> well, let's look at this. Titanium mine. I don't even think it's good at this point, dude. Plus nine, takes three generations to get the money out. Yeah, it's not good, very good. It's bad. That's is alright. I. It's aight. <laughs> Not good, to be honest. But... Dude, we have some sick cash production right now. <laughs> well, you know, we got some minerals now, so. So, what are you thinking here? Um, maybe we just go... Can we afford Demos down this turn? Could we go... Um, like if this this guy's gonna take his he's gonna take this bump and set us to right here, and then we just demos. Yeah, yeah. We got three titanium. How much is demos? Thirty one. We have enough okay. if we because we have three titanium. I don't uh, know, we we usually take a card though. What was oh, that? Well, no, we can we can sell a steel. Right. poll so I'm, I'm curious i keep thinking about this but is is helion plus soletta a good start yes or no what do you think dude just take this power um that seems all right i don't really care for mining rights at this point i mean grass is a good card too I think we just take power though, don't you? Probably. In case we get something that needs power, I don't know. Ooh, kelp farming. Wow. It's actually good. You should take kelp farming. Okay. Well. You can play it early too. Yeah, I like it better than Open City. Although we could play Open City pretty soon too. Are we taking kelp farming? The problem is like it's not even good. The you know, like the oxygen tracker is going to be completely filled out. Yeah, that's true. So maybe we're just better off just playing ice asteroid in these big events. Although, I mean, kelp farming is good. It's not. It's not like a bad card or anything.
I mean, I don't see too much of a ground game for us. No. Question is, I mean, are, are we going to have time to play these cards? Like, I, I feel like our game at this point is just going to be playing these big events. And we do have livestock to get going. We don't have a way to make... I guess, oh, this oh dude, livestock is on right now. I know, but we need a plant production. Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's watching anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just take kelp farming? It gives us the plant production we need to get livestock going. I, okay. I don't know. I, what do you want to do? Uh, sure. Damn, now, I, now I'm wishing we had that stupid uh, lichen card or whatever. Do you want pets? I don't think we um, need. I don't think we need it because. I don't think so either. The, like one of the advantages of pets is that you can deploy animal cards onto it, but we already have the animal cards, so I think we just take kelp farming. You you could also convince me to take geothermal, but I we're so cash poor. I'd rather just take kelp farming. Yeah, that's fine. So, do you want to play demos? That's the question. Seems all right. I mean, it might actually... Actually, no, what we should do is wait and play a uh, giant ice asteroid. Because... That gets us... He's that got turns, a heat bump. Yeah, I know, he yeah. got it. Like, that turns on kelp farming for us, though. Do we have enough to do it? We're a little shy. 35, and we have 25, and 9 is 34, so we just have to sell one card. Why do you want to do Asteroid instead of Demos? Well, Asteroid gives us the two oceans we would need to get kelp farming on, so that next turn we can play kelp farming livestock. I see. That was my thought. Okay. I mean, it's pretty good. It gives us this heat bump. It gives us a bunch of stuff back on, I don't know. It gives us this two titanium, which is pretty good. I think it's actually a pretty good play. And we need to sell what? One, one card? Probably magnetic field generator. Okay. Down for that? Sure. Do you, yeah. Or do you want to? We should have looked at our card first. Yeah, I was going to say, should we wait to do this? Okay, so let's do... You want to look at a card? Sure. No. <laughs> we don't have any heat production. Negatory. Pretty late. We only have one milestone claimed. Yeah. Okay. Well, only two people voted, but the answer was no. Helion plus Saleta is not a good start. I agree. I agree. You never know, dude. We're going to get... If we play this now, we're going to be at 29 on our PR. I don't know. <laughs> we're still going to We're still gonna lose out. We're going to be out of position because we're not ready next turn. I think we should just go ahead and play... Um, let's play the Ice Asteroid. Okay. So I'm going to sell this Magnetic Field Generator. And let's just, uh, let's get our Ice Asteroid on, dude. Sweet. Um, let's play, let's get the Titanium, and then you want to pick up this card? Uh, sure. We need a Miracle at this point. <laughs> Media Group. Ooh, that card's good. Oh, nice. Media group's good. 
I wish we had had that a little earlier. But I'm not not gonna complain too much. It's still good. It's yeah, it's really good. Then you wish we had sabotage now. <laughs> So you want to, let's see here. Man, he got so much value out of that Steelworks. Yeah, he did. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should have cut that. I can't remember what we had in it, but. I can't remember what we took instead. So next turn we'll play I'd like to do kelp farming and get this livestock going. That's 28. I think we, we we have enough for that, I think. Yeah, we took the Inventor's Guild, which has so far been miserable for us. But if we had passed it to him, he would have drawn all the good cards, so... That's how that works. <laughs> Okay, doing great on these milestones. <laughs> well, scientists we actually are. God, he had it. Oh, no. So annoying. Uh, I really do just feel like quitting now. Not going to lie. Seriously, guys. Kicking, kicking us while we're down. This guy doesn't seem to realize. Oh well. Well, was it was it Meow that did that or fake? Yeah, life? it was Meow. Okay. Now I don't want either of them to win. Yeah, he doesn't seem to realize we're not his competition. <laughs> well, no, the other guy just didn't have titanium. He he just played it because it was good for him. It's, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, vindictive. That's true. <clears throat> God, I just feel like we played a string of games that we just just did not really have much of a chance. So maybe maybe that's you know usually when that happens it just means that you're not very good and could have done <laughs> other stuff. But I don't know. Tell oh see here. All good. Two more earth tags. Predators is a little dangerous. The cartel is not that great. Because each have two. Care about Vesta. Yeah, predators could be annoying. I don't think we're playing Cartel. I mean, we've got, we have one Earth Tag and we're probably gonna play Media Group. So, we're passing that. I think we just take Predators. Seems weird, but I guess so. These guys have any, these guys don't have any. Do they, is Cartel gonna be good for them? They've each got two Earth Tags. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's just say Predators. We passed, um, one of these guys probably has birds. Because we're, you know, like the auction's going up a bunch. I bet that would be a high priority. Super nice. Interesting. Probably just urbanized, right? I mean, this late in the game, this stuff isn't that good. Sure. Leg up, we're the only people you need. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> if you want to watch some late night, low energy, depressing terrifying <laughs> Mars. <laughs> you want to watch a couple guys do this a lot. Oh, man. <clears throat> it's really good. It's really good streaming. In retrospect, we probably should have just pushed into strip mine early and, and 
The problem is, like, I just didn't feel like that was going to be a winning play because it would have been so expensive. Um, uh, well, the tundra farming is can't play it for like can't play it anyway. Why we can't? No, uh, it's a negative six requirement. Oh, well, for us it's negative eight. Or, I mean, yeah, negative. That's true. No, you're right. Yeah. Always forgetting about that ability. I know. I, do. I always do. Um, God, none of these cards seem that great to me, honestly. I think we're just not taking any, and we're trying to, like, help farming livestock, and... I don't know. What do you think? Do, do you want any of these cards? Uh... Like... Cartel's not good. Predators could be good, but like it is, it's speculative. And then, yeah. and we already have fish, and we saw pets, and we have livestock, which means it's birds, small animals, small animals. We did pass small animals. It's out there. Um. Eh. Uh, I just don't. Think, I don't see us playing this, but I'm. You know, whatever. Is there a good spot for urbanized? Not yet, and there there might that would be the one that you could. I mean, breathing filters also is just two points for thirteen, and we get to draw a card. Yeah, but I don't know. Let's see, what do we have for steel? I guess we uh, got EOS and greenhouses. So, but we don't have that much steel production. I don't think we need any of these, dude. Okay. All right, let's draw our card. Oh, birds. Yeah, I think we take that. Sure. Uh, That's we, really good, actually. It is good, yeah. And then... Uh, did I forget to use this last turn? That's <laughs> <laughs> possible. I think I got so annoyed that I think I did. Well, so do we have enough for help farming livestock? That's twenty eight or twenty nine. We do. That seems good. What's going on in your life, dude? <laughs> Been playing a lot of Bloodborne. Oh yeah, you're back into it. Yeah, with a vengeance. What uh, what got you back in? Just PS Five. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've been wanting to get back into it for a long time. Is it sick on PS Five? Yeah, it runs better. Does it? Yep, frame rate's better. Oh, come on now. We're so unlucky. <laughs> this is going to be a good little sequence for us. We'll get some points off these animals. For sure. It'd be really nice if we could get a large convoy, too. Yeah. So maybe next turn... Oh, we got this interstellar colony ship. That's going to be some points for us. That'll be nice. That media group down. How many uh, archives cards are there? Three. One. Zero. Wow, that's like the worst archives ever. Um. So uh, you're uh, just fired up about Bloodborne? Yeah, man. It's a you know hard game, but. Making my way through. I'm using using walkthroughs when necessary. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. 
Uh, that's cool. What uh, are you? I I never got that far with that game. To be honest with you. I mean, yeah, there's a there's a rather large difficulty spike early on, but um, it's just it's like any other game. You just get good at it after a while. Yeah. Like this time through, I I and it only took me one try to beat Father Gascoigne, for example. That's the end of the first act or whatever. I don't yeah. know when you'd call it, but it's really kind of the second boss, and it's kind of like the first big hurdle. Yeah. Oh, he went. He's going Jovians now. Wow. We're gonna lose a second milestone here. Surprise, surprise. Damn, was there a chance we could have gotten Builder? No. There was no chance we could have done anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just telling the truth. Just speaking my truth, Nima. So, we shall put an animal in there and... What's that noise in the background? I don't know. What does it sound like? Uh, I don't know, like a kind of a machine hum. Oh, it's probably the heater in the basement. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry about that. I was uh, hoping. I uh, hope it would filter it out. But... I thought it was my. Uh, thought it was my. Uh, up mine. Um. What have you been up to? I've uh, just been busy lately. Um, mostly just been, it was a lot this week. I've just been working a lot, but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the weekend, dude. I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire, dude. That card, that game's sweet. It's a very good game. I know you just like you're off it, but yeah, I burnt out on it. I'm I, I'm excited because uh, to radically change the subject where uh, my state announced they're pushing up vaccine time, so I'll get it like two weeks earlier. Oh wow! Or, or be able to apply, try to get them two weeks earlier. Dude, you're like um, so I'm uh, yeah. It's weird because like as a healthcare worker, I got my vaccine in January. So <laughs> right. Been, like, uh... hey Hodge, what's up, man? Um, I'm on 16 with the, the, uh, I'm on Ascension 16 with the, uh, Ironclad. I've been playing a lot of Ironclad. What, what's really helped my game is that I used, there, there used to be certain blue cards that it just seemed really bad to me. And I've been, I've been just like taking the taking the blue cards um, and trying to experiment with them a little bit more. And it turns out that I, you know, they're, they can be quite powerful. So I, I, I that's really helped my game because some of them just seemed not that great to me. And I don't think I experimented enough with them. The, the one that upgrades every one of your cards is like amazing, right? The, uh, oh, the armaments or do you yeah. know apotheosis which is the color. apotheosis that's the one yeah that's that's like a rare card though so it's hard to get that one yeah um i actually like armaments i actually think armaments is pretty good um that's the that's the one that gives you it's one energy gives you five defense and it upgrades all the cards in your hand oh yeah that one is good because with battle trance like uh which is also insanely good you just get to like fill your hand and then play it and like you basically can upgrade all your cards um, it takes a little work, but I like that card. I, I think that card's good. Oh, nitrogen. Okay, let's take the imported nitrogen. Yeah, That's yeah. really good for us right now, actually. It gives us uh, plants, microbes, and animals. Full which, deal. Which we have. Actually, it's really good because it gives us an oxygen uh, a plant right now. We should play that now. Yeah, you're right, Hodge. That's Armaments Plus. Technically, you're right, yeah. Um, I, do you do you upgrade? Because I I will often take armaments and just upgrade it. But I like when I watch Jorbs play, who's like the main guy. He doesn't ever do that. It, it seems like, but it seems good to me. He's he's obviously just completely next level compared to me. So 
probably I should just be doing what he does, but yeah, you got You know what? You got a point. I don't really watch people play Slay the Spire. Maybe maybe if I did, that would help me. I don't watch that much either, but I actually find it very entertaining. Like if, if I only have like ten minutes at lunch or something, I'll I'll just throw it on there while I'm eating, because um, you can kind of just dip into it. It's it's all good. I don't think we need any more cities, do you? I'm just going to take this farming. Okay. I'm... Sorry, I'm like on kind of autopilot right now. No, I know. I'm kind of checking. <laughs> Dude, so... Dude, check out your high energy late night, you know, after... Dude, I told you I was going to be sleepy, man. No, I know. I, I don't think I realized how... I, I'm pretty tired, too. You got, yeah, so David, I, I was like, I, I basically rage quit that game because like I kept, I could not beat it with the silent. I beat it with the ironclad. I just could not do it with the silent. Like the silent is all about. It's just getting two catalysts in your deck, and then yeah. you get nine hundred poison every time. It's like no, I know, and I, I could never get that to happen. Like I could never. Either I would just not ever get the catalyst, or I wouldn't get the support cards with it. I don't know. Also, I probably just not that good. But. The si- what the silent uh, the other build that I like is uh, oh wow we're getting like all the cards now how many uh, worms do we or how many uh, just one yeah I'll just take that nitrogen or asteroid how many uh, plant tags do we have oh yeah perfect so, dude we're set up for all the combos right now we have zero plant tags zero microbes zero earth tags not enough building tags like we're really crushing it with the... <laughs> hell yeah um. All right, so what are you thinking? Uh, we're definitely taking this one. This card's great for us. Mm-hmm. This gives us two consecutive heat bumps. It's actually quite good for us. Um, we don't have the plant tags for NRA. Nitrogen-rich asteroid. Actually, we do if we play these. Nitrogen-rich asteroid. But I, I don't think we're... I mean, there's not a huge advantage to us doing... That I don't know. Maybe maybe we should. We don't have a ton of cards to play. Play take this one too. Sure. It's pretty expensive. It's expensive, yeah. But I think we actually might run out of things to do with this hand. I mean, I don't know. What uh, what what do you want to do? I'll I'll, I'll... just just take it. That's fine. Okay. Um, so the other one that I like with silent is when you get the, uh, um, what's that one that makes your shivs do more damage? And then you get like, you get the builds where you just play like a gazillion cards. Yep. And there's the artifact that makes your shivs do more damage. Yeah. Yeah. That one's sick. That one's really fun too. I like, that doesn't seem to be as like good of a way to actually win, but it's really fun. I'm surprised that you... I'm surprised that you haven't been able to win with the silent because I actually think the silent is easier than the ironclad. Like I think the ironclad is the hardest for me to play. Although I will say I've barely played um, the the um, the defect. Yeah, the defect. Well, that one's that one's pretty tricky, man. That's what I started playing for a long time, and it's it's the it's the hardest one to make work. The monk is like completely busted. Have you yeah. played with the monk? No, I haven't. Um, I mean, the monk is just like, in I don't know, just like insanely strong. Sometimes, like you're just like, yeah, okay. I mean, um, did you you thought the defect was pretty tricky? Yeah, I think the defect's really fun, but it's it's definitely I think higher skill class. I find it. Uh, I I find it that it's just slow to play. Um, like I, I like the sort of velocity of the silent and the ironclad where you kind of, you just feel like you're moving a lot of cards through, um, which is cool. Um, well, like what the, what I like about like the, the defect is fun. Cause I, I enjoy in general building up like. It's almost like an engine building sort of mechanic, right? It Where is. You're, you're you're building up those dealy bobs around you, and then they just kind of passively work for you. I like I always I like that kind of mechanic. I feel like the I, I'm, I'm yeah I'm just really surprised that I mean I think you must have just been unlucky, Nima, because 
I feel right. like the, the silent. I definitely win more consistently with the ironclad than the silent. But the silent, I feel like, is easier to get just these like busted draws where it's inevitable you're going to win. Like I, I feel like the, and it's not because of skill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I feel like the, like if you just get that early catalyst or whatever, you're like, okay, I guess I'm crushing this I one. Mean, yeah. I- like I, I'm suddenly remembering the kinds of things that would happen. So like, I remember one time I had like two catalyst pluses, right? I'm like, well, hell, I'm gonna win this, right? And then I get to a fight where it's it's one of those awful, awful boss fights where you have to like, it's like a boss that keeps summoning minions and they're all really strong. You know what I'm talking about? Um. Yeah. So say okay. I'm sorry. I was. Just doing oh, something yeah, out there. The give, give me, give, give me, uh, tell, tell me again. Like, do you, do you know this? So, there's a few bosses in that game that keep summoning minions, and they're all everything is really strong. And right. like the silent is just terrible at that. Well, okay, so the 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 silent. It, what I usually do is, uh, what I usually do with the silent is, I I try and take all the dexterities that I can. So you build up your. And yeah. then there's a couple cards that are just insanely good. Like there's the one that lets you carry over your block to the next turn, you know. Aww. So that one's so good. And then there's, um, I don't know. It, it's like if you if you just build do a bunch of dexterity build get get a bunch of dexterity. Yeah, blur. And then you get blur. And those things you can really time mm-hmm. them. Um, yeah, I, t- I go for blur every time. And then the other one is the corpse explosion. The corpse, mm-hmm. that yeah, thing. I, is... I turned you onto that one. Yeah, that card's sick. You you did, and that like I started messing around with that. That thing is insane. Yeah, corpse explosion almost feels like necessary. Yeah, that card's really good. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's like I feel like I know how to win with the silent. I just can't ever do it. Yeah, I think you've just been unlucky. Uh, just from what you're describing, it just sounds like you're you've been unlucky. He has got 21 cards. He's just gonna play like 15 cards and score 80 points in the end. What are we doing? I don't know. Just <laughs> talking about nitrogen rich, maybe. No, I was gonna play this. Uh, I was gonna play this uh, imported nitrogen so that we can get a plant bump. Cause That's what I meant. Yeah. Sorry. Because yeah. we're gonna something, something with nitrogen. Whatever. It's on one of those elements at the top. Yeah, I actually, I, I find the. Um, w- yeah, I, I, I have, so I've been trying to get to Ascension twenty, and I was, I was, I've been working through up to Ascension twenty on Ironclad, and then I was gonna switch over to Silent. Oh, come on now. He's going to take our... Right. Man, we just cannot catch a break in this game, I swear. That was my fault. I could have played that stupid media group before, and I just didn't. But, like, God, I'm, we're just getting so owned. So annoying. All right, screw you, dude. I'm taking your shit. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's what you get. Boom. Suck it. <laughs> super salty well i mean i it's i wasn't paying attention i could have sequenced that and like played that thing a turn earlier if i hadn't played media group but i've just like lost interest in this game to be honest with you um i have noticed that i feel like in part of why i loved tm so much was that um i feel the game always seemed winnable to me when I was playing weaker players. <laughs> and I don't mean that like, what I mean is that like, it's a fun challenge to play a game that you're better at than other people and have a crappy draw. But yeah. when you play good players, like, I don't think that we really had much of a chance in this game from the start. And the, and I, I would say like five of our last seven games have felt like that to me. Um Maybe we, we just had a little run of bad luck, or maybe we're just complaining and we're just not that good, which is quite plausible, too. Um, but uh, it does feel like that. Wait, you want to play that now? I think we can still get the plant, so I'm going to play Greenery. I like birds better. <laughs> I think we have enough to play... 
greenery, uh, greenhouses, and because I want to get one of these bumps if I can. So there's one, two, three. Uh, we're gonna be one short here. What about uh, this thing? EOS gives us three. God, it's so annoying. We're gonna be one short. I don't think we have quite enough to play both. Um. Well, we might we might still be able to get one of the bumps next generation. Gen nine. When do you think? When do you think this is going to end? Not uh, soon enough. Not soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> not soon enough, my friend. Uh, uh, yeah, Carpe's right. You barely said you're going to love it at all. That means yeah. this game is so bad. Let's play this guy. Good for us right now. D oh, okay. Go ahead. Tell me. Have you spent the the steel yet? I just did, yeah. Oh, you mean to like sell it? I yeah. did, yeah, I did. Okay. We're gonna get nitrogen rich next turn. But uh, whatever. Woohoo. Um now, how how far did you get get into Bloodborne? You know, I got to that dude that you just said you crushed on your first try, and I could never beat that guy, and I just got frustrated. Although I didn't, I didn't try that long because I, I just prefer the Dark Souls games, and so I kind of went back to those. Yeah. Well, the the thing I'm realizing with, uh, I'm, blood, I'm with Bloodborne, and I'm sure Dark Souls is probably the same way. It's like there's things you need to know about every fight to make it winnable, and Father Gascoigne's no different. Like what what you do is like you go visit his daughter what turns out to be his daughter who has a, um, a music box so you get the music box from his daughter and you when he transforms into the beast you play the music box and it paralyzes him dude that's stupid come on now are you serious not like forever it's not like it, like it gets it lets you get a a, a big uh, hit on him but uh, but but like but that's the thing. Like every boss has some thing like that that you just like. It's you have to experiment to know or look it up. Like, um. Well, I, def just kinda... I definitely like experimenting, you know. But like, that just seems like okay. Like if you don't have the stupid box, like you're never gonna think. You know, you're like I don't know. Maybe I just need to. I'm usually kind of a completionist, you know, like I usually will find those boxes because I try and go like seek out all the exploration stuff for before I fight the bosses. But well, do you, I mean, I mean, did you, do you even know to talk to the NPCs in that game, like in the, in through the windows? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played, but the, the problem was like, it, I just found it. So in, ooh, insects. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Kupala. Oh wait, no, uh, no, we can't play Google anymore. Uh, let's just take insects then. Um, well, so so the thing that really was tough for me with Bloodborne is that I just never, I never got used to playing without a shield, because I, I played so much Demon Soul and Dark Souls that like, and I and I always play a character with a shield, even if it's even if it's, it's kind of a light shield, that I just found it so disconcerting to have to play with that stupid blunderbuss yeah I, i've gotten pretty good at the parry now it's uh it's i won't say it's necessary but it is very helpful to be able to parry in that game i'm thinking of i mean you were the one that was telling me about the jedi game that's like dark souls and i was thinking of playing that one yeah 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 you should totally play that um i mean i like i that sounds pretty cool to me actually like um i it, it might fire me up to get a PS5. How did that game... Were the load times crazy long on that Jedi game? Mm, they weren't too bad. No. Maybe I'll get fired up and buy a PS5. Are they are they cheap now on the resale? Can you get them for... Are they still... What, PS5s? Yeah, are they still marked up? No, like, hell no. These, they're still really hard to find. Are they? Should we take this Insects? Uh, how many tags do we have? We've got two, but we'll have three. 
Probably not. <gasps> Probably not. Uh, we have a lot to play. Not that much money. <laughs> yeah. I don't even care, dude. Basically, <laughs> looking at like one big card a generation. What are you thinking? What do you want? Do you want to take any of these? We could take Nuclear Zone just to end the game faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for that, yeah. Let's do it. Let's just take it. I'm sick of this game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we can get the Demos down bump right now because if somebody, if we get one heat bump, we have a heat bump. But I think we want to play Nitrogen Rich. I don't know. This guy takes our plants. I'm going to be very annoyed. See you, leg up. Thanks for coming, man. All right. So we, we ended up getting our bump anyway, so it's not the end of the world, but... Um, okay, let's just go ahead and sell this deal. All right, how are we doing on these awards? So we've got... Minor, are we in second and minor? I mean, we have some production. Yeah, we are. We're second on minor. Okay. Um, scientists were like tied, banker, and eh, basically tied, landlord. No, not doing great. <laughs> what scientist that? Science is 6'6. Six, six. So that guy's yeah. probably going to fund scientist, hopefully. I mean, he probably, yeah. he's got 25 cards or something, 18 cards. So he's probably got a few more in his hand. Um,. What are the, what's the other player's VP at? He's at 7, we're at 11, and he's at 10. Okay. Yeah, we're probably not winning. Oh, no, we're not winning. We are not winning. Although we do have some... We have we have some point cards in hand, I mean, but we're... The problem is this guy's just going to deploy, like, 50 cards and kill us. I mean, it's just... Tharsis only has four cards, so that's that's one thing that's good, but... Yeah, purple's economy is just ridiculous. Probably gonna be thermal. Because it's not that great. It's he's got eleven power. Good lord. We could go for a thermalist. Yeah. So I think we play greenhouses nitrogen rich on this turn. Okay. Or do you want to just like accelerate to ending the game? Because we could go Demos Nuclear Zone and just like bump the heat like five, like seven times. I mean, there's still the oceans, but yeah, but we'll pick up one here and then. Um... I mean, nitrogen rich is good with. Uh... Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's. Oh. It, it's like three to our TR, and it bumps um, our plant production by four. Pretty good. Um. Yeah. Well, maybe I should maybe I should look into uh, Bloodborne again. The part of it is that I don't I don't love like the gothic theme. Yeah, I know that that's a hard thing to get around. I, I I freaking love it. I think it's such a cool looking game. Really, you're into that? Yeah, I, I love gothic horror. At least like the look of it. I don't like. I don't seek that kind of stuff out too much, but it's an aesthetic I really like. There's some like freaky ass monsters in it too. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that one has a like. Yeah, I'm I'm more into the ones that are just like. Like I I really liked um the new Zelda game, the Breath of the Wild. Although I I, I wish interesting the, comparison to Dark Souls, but well, that's what I mean. I think that Breath of the Wild is similar to Dark Souls, except for the combat wasn't nearly as good. Which which I like. I wish they would just make Breath of the Wild like Dark Souls. <laughs> because the like i don't need it to be like my favorite part of those dark souls games is usually when you're walking around the castle levels where there's enough light that you can actually see <laughs> um it, 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 i just find the like just dark everybody's got like some rotting leg and like some weird <laughs> you know 
infested face and i'm just like dude that's what i do for work every day i don't need to like <laughs> that's a good point this is not escapism for me <laughs> Yeah, no, there's, there's this uh, there's this enemy in the Forbidden Woods that like it just looks like a dude, and then you walk up to him and he starts freaking out, and then all these snakes come out of his head. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> God, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> you you see enough gore as it is. I think I'm going to play this uh, Greenhouse is Nitrogen Rich because um, this guy funded Landlord. So that will give it, hopefully we can negotiate for a second on Landlord. Um, so, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, we nailed what? it. <laughs> Yes. Dude, there we go. There we go. That's Look, things are looking up in the out. world. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so what do you think? You wanna do you wanna just end this game? That might actually be the best thing. Although I think what we do, Nima, is we go Greenhouse, let's just skip it. If this guy bumps the heat, we could decide whether or not we want to take the Demos down bump right now. Okay. Dude, that was the, unfortunately, a sad time to find life, but <laughs> nonetheless, I feel like the card should just say, if you do it, you win. Like, I mean, <laughs> right? Win. Do you think do you think this game should have a card like that? It was, it's like some you you'll fulfill like this crazy set of requirements no. and just win the game. No, I don't think so. I don't I don't like those. Yeah, I generally don't either. I, I think that the I don't I don't know. I, I'm This game has seemed a slightly less compelling to me lately, Nima. I, I have to say, like I um <laughs> I know I am, and it could just be you know you get a losing streak and it's just like okay whatever it's not as much fun but um, I don't know it just it hasn't felt quite so I don't know well that's what you know that's why despite the fact that we don't like it that's why I was looking forward to preludes because it's something different you know yeah but I know I I don't know Hodge what do you think now that, I mean you've played so like a ton lately I to me. When you're playing really strong players, um, it sometimes it just feels like a lot of games are unwinnable, and and maybe that I'm just not good enough. I mean, that's that's quite possible. I'm not uh, I'm not. No, I think that. that's certainly true. Like if you just, you get a terrible draw, like we've gotten that one game, and this I would argue this game too. It's just like well, you're starting from way behind. So. That guy passed with his heat, like he wants to try and get that bump. Uh, do you think we should... I mean, I think... So why don't we just Nitrogen Rich, and then next turn we'll just start by doing Nuke Zone and um, Demos and just mess him up. Also, we can... Do you have any plants we can take? I don't know, but we're definitely hitting this guy's plant. All right, let's do... Uh, let's play... Let's do the uh, NRA play. What do you think? Sure. Um, let's see here. You want to just draw some cards? Uh, oh, Convoy. Oh, nice. Uh, what about, okay, so we take Convoy Capital? Not bad. Sure. Dude, Convoy's actually pretty sick for us. Convoy's really good. Um, okay, so we're going to, next turn, we're going to play Demos and play a thing. We did find some bangers, that is true. Uh, but we're still losing. <laughs> <laughs> if we had gotten that milestone, I think we would have been in it. But that 10-point swing is going to be too much. And um, that was that was real pun that was very punishing, not going to lie. 
Not going to lie. Um, well, I think we definitely have to cut this mining rights. We're playing odd. Yeah, we're passing to Meow. I think we got. I mean, uh, we got to cut this water imports. He's got uh, five Jovians. Wow. Yeah. yeah we're going to cut that one. Um, the problem, uh, David, is that we have we have a lot of points in hand, but we don't have enough money to deploy them all. So that we're going to. Yeah, I, I just don't think we're going to have time to, to, to play them all out. But we'll see. We have a good turn this turn. We're about to score a lot of points and mess up this guy's plants. And Oh, bushes. Everybody loves bushes. Mm -hmm. Fake life has seventy two cash and twenty cards. <laughs> do you do you think that's going to end well for us, Nima? <laughs> I don't think it's going to end well. <laughs> so we'll demos and play a plant. I think we're gonna yeah. I don't think we take any of these cards. Nope. No, we don't. They just don't do anything for us. All right, let's do Demos. I'm hitting Meow's plants. That guy pissed me off. <laughs> Whoa. You want to take cash? I think we just take cash here, huh? Yeah. Get the three back from the... All right, let's hit uh, Tarsus. And then let's put our plant before Tarsus strikes again. Um, okay. So now we definitely want to get this heat bump off. We have 30 cash. So we can play colony ship. Um, we got media archives. Archives is actually positive money now. How many <laughs> tags do we have? We have seven. That's not a great advertisement for it. But... 10, 12, so it's plus five cash right now. Use that if we need it. We don't have another power for capital, which is unfortunate because we have six steel floating. Although miner, miner is in contention, so it's probably it's not the worst thing for us just to have some steel lying around. That's a little bit of a bummer that he got that because. Um. So he. He passed on the... Okay, well, I'm going to take our heat bump while we can. Or should we hold out for Thermalist? No. Mm. No. We have no chance on Thermalist, though. So. Yeah, so we'll take our heat bump. And then I guess we just kind of hang out and see what happens. Play an action a turn and see what happens. I think the game's ending this generation. It might. We have we have twelve more TR than fit than purple. We're losing, dude. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's got like sixty credits, and he's got four, 18 cards or something. Like yeah, losing. I know, I know. And he's got two milestones. I mean, we're <sighs> we're boned. We're in the bone zone. <laughs> in the bone zone, dude. Yeah. Dude, we're in the bone zone. Oh, did we still actually get money off this con or we still get the ocean off this convoy? Sweet. That's pretty rad, dude. That doesn't happen often. No, not at this late. Somebody's got that uh what's that card that gives you two oceans for the Should Marineris. we just play should we just play that thing right now? I think we, we don't should. Have the money, do we? Yeah, we do. 
Because we can we can media group. Then yeah, why not? Shall we? Sure. Yeah. Um, is it better than colony ship? Um, you get how many animals again? Four? We get five plants too. Oh yeah, sell the steel. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Dude, let's do it. You want to do it? Sure. Dude, yeah. Do it. Um, let's take some plants and some money. Yes. All right, let's let's uh, let's put those animals on birds. Burps. Dude, we got some bangers. Who said that? I like Hodge, that. Hodge. We, we do have some bangers, dude. Yeah. We do. I mean, we can, I don't know, man. This dude, is, could we win this game? I, I'm starting to believe. Like, we have 20 VP. This guy's got nine. He's got zero board presence. Like, if this ends right now, we might win it. <laughs> Dude, if we won this game after how pessimistic I was, we're not winning, though. Trust me. <laughs> this guy's got 65 credits. I, 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 we're just, it's just not possible. Yeah, I should have stayed focused. Well, I guess the game's ending. That's that's good for us. I think so. Kind of, although we have a lot we have a lot of points in hand too. Yeah, but not the deck like everyone else has a better economy. Not this is not really. I mean, we have 42 on our TR, so that's 22 credits in economy. Yeah. Oh, we got research. Huh. So, is there any way we could get to the point where we could play anything else? Um, um. All right, let's see here. Let's do, uh, let's put an animal on. Or do you think that guy was just trolling us and he's like, don't think my draws were good. <gasps> do, 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 do. You lose. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> you lose. Oh god. Yeah, we do have some animals. This guy's got 13 VP. We're going to get to are, are we going to get second on landlord? Probably not. I don't think so. Or What was it? Were we tied? We're tied right now for second, but the problem, and we're gonna get one more. But he's he's just got so much money and cards, like uh, you know, that there's gonna be some stuff in there. Yeah. We could almost fire off a nuke zone for free, which is another tile, because um, it bumps our TR two, but we're gonna get six money back, so it costs us three for a tile, because we get to place it here or here. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, also fish scores us a point. Um, so I think we're going to fire off media archives here next, or I guess we just sell. Oh yeah, you're right, David. Yeah, you're right. That's, uh, I, for some reason I was thinking of bumped our TR, so we're definitely not doing that. Um, but it, <laughs> yeah, it bumps heat, not TR. Yeah. Good call. Good call. I wouldn't have done it. God, no way. I would have figured that out. <laughs> we're not tired or anything we would have we're gonna get disqualified because we we cheated on the chat but i feel like we were so disinterested in this game for almost the entire thing that, like, <laughs> that whatever whatever you know help that carpe gave to us uh it, it was nullified by our complete lack of focus and interest in this game dude good twitch stream tonight by the way <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know, man. The way I look at it is like as long as you're having like. I wasn't. I wasn't having fun at the beginning. I am having more fun now. Somehow, um, you know, there was a lull there where I just felt really tired. Um, Should we... uh, Dude, let's put a resource on GHG, dude. Oh, heck yeah. (laughs) Sweet. Um, All right, so let's look at our... Let's look at this. So right now we're second in minor... So that's good. I think we probably just don't use any of the steel. Just try and make sure we get second and minor. That's a big swing for us. Um, and let's just see what this guy does and see if we can get second and landlord. Oh, he's got that physics complex. I forgot about that. Physics good complex. Good amount of points off of that. Yeah, he does. Uh, all right, so let's go. Let's sell this Phobos. We're not doing that. Oh, actually, here. I'm going to sell this nuke zone before I mess it up. It actually might have been worth it to keep it, just in, because if it was the difference between second or not, then it would have been two points. It would have been three cash for, I don't know, whatever. But Oh, he's just gonna sell patents on us. Come on, dude. He's got. Hey, he's, hey, he's doing what you do, man. He just wants to play all his cards all at once. He's got twenty cards, so. Um, that's fine. So what? What? Uh, let's see here. Is he out of cards? No, he's still got some. Could we get to, I guess we're probably just going to, there might be some advantage for us to play research just to pressure him on scientist. Like if he decides to fund it, but he's going to fund thermalist is my guess here. No, he can't. Eight, nine. I don't think he can. Yeah, Search for Life was the moral victory. That was basically the moment when I started having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit that guy's last plant. Ish. Probably his last plant, yeah. All right, so let's. I'm going to make that guy sell everything. Sell joy. <laughs> now I'm doing it just to troll you. <laughs> now I'm doing it to troll you, Nima. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I wasn't. Okay, so we're going to have 8, 12, and 3. So we're at 15 now. So we'll have 15 credits. God, if we could have gotten to colony ship, it would have been insane. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, 15, 16, 17, we're only at 18. Yeah, we could... Oh, no, we can't play capital. So we'll be at 18. Probably just play research then. Man, if we could have gotten colony ship... That, that guy hitting our titanium cost us playing colony ship. Mm-hmm. unfortunate all right he's done so what are you thinking sell capital I'm making him do it dude one card at a time dude he sabotages us Okay. I probably should just play the media archives before I get sabotaged. Man, it's really too bad we couldn't get that colony ship down. That would have been sick. So what do you think? Research? Just in case he goes to fun scientist? Is there nothing better? 
Well, we're going to have 15 credits. We won't have enough to do much of anything. I guess we'll have 16 well, fish. credits. Fish is a point. Yeah, but so is research. That's true. Okay, then yeah, do research. Oh, he got us. There, does he win it now? Yeah, the... Seven, yeah, he's gonna beat us now on that. That's annoying. Um, is there a way we could somehow get over to more steel? I don't think so. Plate archives here. Um, actually, we can play both of these, Nima. We can sell this and play both of these. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. That actually worked out okay. Play research first, see what we draw. That losing or getting second on uh on miners gonna that's really bad for us. It's a four point swing. Yeah. Alright. Well, like you said, he had a lot of cards and a lot of money, so you think we're gonna be second even? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure that we are. I don't think so. I think we're third. Because green's got a pretty good ground, like yeah. decent ground game and a milestone. Then again, we have considerably better VP. Mm. Red suits is a point. Well, let's. Oh, hold on. So now we we can can we cobble together another two points because now we don't need to be second in in minor. So we can spend this. That would give us right. Would that get us to rad suits as well? Because this is going to be six plus six plus five would leave us with two credits, and we sell these three and play that. Yeah, we get one more. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, then we sell those three and play. And we still get a plant to play. Well, he's gonna hit those plants. We won't. We those plants will not survive the rest of this turn, is my guess. I think so. No. <laughs> no, I do not. I would call that nothing short of miraculous. If they survive. Tharsis has uh, 17 VP. Yeah, I think we're getting third. Oh, is he going to win minor too? Do your worst. <laughs> that that whole game would have been so different if we had gotten planner. I think uh, that, that was just like a... It just felt like a kill shot from the first... You know, like as soon as they realized that was what was going down. But what are you going to do? Just got outplayed. I think that guy that guy really did the like uh, the super annoying uh, humble brag like oh I didn't have the cards and then he's gonna win it's like come on man <laughs> false modesty. That's like in magic when someone's like. You know, like when someone looks like they have a dominant board position and they're just like good gaming you while you're trying to think about how you're going to, you know, like react and get out of it. And most of the time they're right. But every once in a while you, you get one where they're like they're good gaming you and you just like um, and then you come back and you win and you're just like, yeah, got you. you little. <laughs> <laughs> That's satisfying. <laughs> Didn't find much magic. You know, I I got into it for a little bit. My little brother's all into it, um, so I got into it a little bit. But um, no, nah, not really. Um, they're they're making a D and D base set coming up. 
Oh, weird. Which is that? I guess that makes sense. They own both. So. Right, right. So like that could be cool, actually. Like I'm pretty excited about that. Um, oh, dude. Speaking of magic, they they got they announced like this kind of this like magic this like Diablo clone set set in the world of magic. I saw that. Yeah, somebody was playing that on on like a preview of it, like a beta version. And like it was, you know, it's like this guy that that's like a really famous magic player, LSV, who who I I like and I watch a lot of his stuff. Um, he played that on Twitch for a while. Was it cool? I only watched a little bit of it. He he talked about it on this podcast I listened to, and he's he sounded like it was like, eh, you know, like he didn't sound like he was that into it. But I don't think he plays those games that much. It's a really cool concept. Like you. You know, instead of like set skills, you you draw cards, and those are your skills that you have for how, however long. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, and then you, like you kind of have to you like you have to deal with whatever you drew and like make a you know, that's your hand. So it's, so it's like it's a, a whole, it's like a hybrid. It's like a hybrid. Um, it's like Diablo meets magic. Right, right. Like that's cool. That is cool. Yeah, it is cool. Um, Well, it was a valiant effort, Nate. It was. No, I think you know we, we played fine. And... Oh, hey, meow. Good night. Oh, hey. Oh, I thought you. <laughs> you were saying good night. <laughs> he was saying hello. Hey, meow. How's it going? Good game. It was a little low energy from our from our end. Um, but um, you know. How'd you feel like you did, Meow? <laughs> sad, sad. Such sad boys. The the Sea Home guy, he 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 did the humble brag thing. Like I'm getting more annoyed out of it. <laughs> it's like, come on! Like, why did he why did he do that? He was clearly winning the whole game. I don't know. <laughs> Here comes the salt. Dude, I'm I'm not salty at all. No. Oh man. You think he's gonna take the whole seventeen minutes to figure out how to beat us? <laughs> Should I just like go take a shower and come back because I I need to go I need to go take a shower. Mm, yeah. Man, I need, I need some beer to wash down all this salt I'm getting. We could just have Meow tell us who wins, and we could just end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would be breaking the breaking the compact between streamer and viewer if we just were like, "Hey, thanks for watching," and just ended it? We, we no, no, we would just walk away. <laughs> leave the stream going and just walk away this guy he we must well somebody must he must not be just crushing it because he would have had that overlay he probably has that overlay that tells him exactly what the points are and he's sitting there counting them out right now oh uh, you think so yeah i don't think the overlay should be legal in tournament play we've, yeah. we've talked about that but I would agree with that in tournament tournament play. Otherwise, I don't really care. Oh, sell sold five patents. Yeah, you know, just get make sure he wins on a tie. Well, no, that means he just that means he only has two cards left. Uh, I don't. He still had. He still had. Um, he had some points in hand. That's true, Hodge. But I think that that. I think the the bookkeeping is important in timed games because a lot of times you have a. There's a pressure between how much time you spend to make your decisions and how much time you leave for bookkeeping, and I think it's, it's much more interesting when there's the possibility that you make a calculation error under pressure. 
You know, I think that that's... I don't know, I think there's a lot of play to that. Huh. Oh. Well, that was only a two-pointer. He's totally winning it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this game, dude. This might be my last game ever. <laughs> might be it, dude. <laughs> oh man! Well, I don't know where 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 are our two fans gonna get the salty? TM play that they they've come to love. I, so. I will say I would I would play just for Carpe because he's been such a loyal fan. But like, <laughs> I mean, the reality is he wants to watch our who wants to watch our, our low energy mediocre gameplay stream at eleven thirty at night on a weird day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's dedication, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh my gosh! Now now come the now come the. Wasn't trying to be a jerk with my previous. Uh... Oh man, that wow, is... wow, Tharsis won. Hey, dude, wow, you, wow, good job, meow. Yeah, nicely done, meow. Well done. Dude, that's that was a winnable game. No, when we lost that milestone, it crushed us. Oh. Crushed us. I mean that. Yes, that lost us the game, but. Um. Well, I don't know. Probably. What would we? I have mean, done I'll, I'll grant you, it was. It would have been a tough climb. I mean, we. We mostly maximized it, but yeah. But the problem, David, was that the milestone happened on like Gen two, and so it was like, it just like, yeah. That that uh, that could have been it, Carpe, because in the end, the science did basically nothing for us. But um, yeah, that was unlucky. Like we, I don't. We never even saw anti grab. I don't think. No. I'm sure it probably was, but um, I mean, let's put it this way: we were extremely lucky to draw all those points at the end. Like, um, I mean, like we drew the, um, you know, the thing that puts all the animals on, and I don't know, whatever. Large convoy. Well, dude, I'll tell you what. It was great, and <laughs> I uh, I did enjoy I did enjoy playing with you, Nima. Well, yeah, that's always good, but like, I don't know, man. It's uh, you you have been giving up pretty quickly these days. <laughs> well, we have gotten second in like seven straight games, so I know I, you're just, you're so demoralized now. I feel like we need to, we need to take on some noobs to get you back into it. Yeah. Um, maybe. Partly, I was just tired today, man. I had a long day. Um, I, yeah, it's, I it's a late, it's a late stream, so. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of there's a lot of encouragement going on in the chat. <laughs> that's that. don't you realize that that's why we have a Twitch stream just so that I don't um, get too despondent when we play games. <laughs> like my my therapy. Well, there you go. Um, hey, we did lose. Uh, we're out of the tournament, Nima, but we did beat the number one ranked player on uh, Steam. Hey, there you go. That's uh, that's, uh... <laughs> meow that's goes. Cool. Meow goes. Dude, just come get smashed by fifteen hundred spring preludes. <laughs> <laughs> that's an amazing comment. I love that. That inca that really um, encapsulates how I feel about preludes. <laughs> 
Um, that's amazing comment. Well, dude, I hope that um, I I hope that the tournament. Uh, I hope the other I hope that the other players stream some of the games. I would like to watch the semifinals and finals of this TM League tournament. Yeah, I really want to see the finals, that's for sure. Yeah. Um I would I would like to see the semis too cuz I think that, you know, like that'd be cool to kind of see the lead up to the finals. Um sure. Yeah, it looks like Private's crushing. He's 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 in the he won both of his first rounds. Yeah, round 5. But, well, um, this might be my last stream for a while, Nima. Um, we're out of the tournament, so that was, that was, I guess, I guess we could go back to doing the card summaries. Um, yeah, we got plenty of other stuff we can do like that. And I mean, we have, we have streamed a bunch of games in a row and we haven't done much in the way of strategy, so we can go back to that. Oh, dude, Carpe has, that's a good thought. Um, if, if, uh, we, if, what if you and I became commentators and, uh, and we commentated the, uh, the final game? Well, that would be fun. I bet, uh, I mean, depending on who's in the final, I'm sure somebody would, would share a screen with us. Dude, Hodge, why didn't you play in this tournament? I don't understand. Like, did you, it looked like you just stopped playing in the TM League. Because you, you should have been in the... I mean, you, you play all the time. You should have been in it. <laughs> um, dude, you play all the time. Why didn't you finish your games? Don't don't badger the guy. Whatever. No, no, no I know. But I mean, like... That would have been cool if you, like... I don't know, whatever. Um, dude, now you're making me feel bad, dude. I wasn't badgering him. <laughs> I don't know, man. He has reasons. He didn't do it. Yeah, why well, you gotta be like that, Nima? <laughs> I, I agree. Dude, uh, dude don't ask me anything personal, Nima. <laughs> like anything. Watch, ask me a question. Watch, ask me a question. What'd you have for lunch dude, today? Why would you ask me that, dude? Stop badgering me. <laughs> Yeah. That's, what if that's... I'm on like some weird diet and you're just like trying to expose the thing, dude? <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta be like that, nice dude? Very, very <laughs> nice. Nice try, Nate. Nice try. Um. Well, Nima, I do feel like there were the highs were high and the lows were low. <laughs> um. I, today, I didn't, didn't feel like there was too many highs, but. We this tournament, I guess. When, let's, yeah, this feels like a good time to have a tournament retrospective, right? Um, yeah, the tournament was rad, and I, uh, kudos to Kaikius. Yeah, uh, that was well, really cool. And, um, thank you for organizing it, and you know, you know we had fun despite today's miserable, despond miserable despondentness. We um, we did have a great time, and it was it was a very well organized uh, tournament. I mean, I you know like there were some issues with players completing games like hodgepodge and everything, but um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but uh, no, it was an extremely well run tournament. Yeah, I agree, and uh, we certainly had fun playing it. I mean, it, it led to our best game of all time. That that was that was an amazing game. I did you post that one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, I'll uh, I'll find it right now. That w that was an incredibly fun game. Um, yeah. We had the science going and yeah. yeah I just I just think that I, I you guys have probably already seen it but it's just an incredible game I mean the the, the end of that game is just I, I've watched it myself like a hundred times it's so fun I think the um, I think the difficulty with um, terraforming as a spectator sport is that the game just takes a little too long and I, you know, like I was trying to think about how would you do the tournament in a preludes. <laughs> yeah, but the problem with preludes is it just. Um, I, I don't think the problem is that the game has to take so long. Uh, I think that it's. Um, 
I think that there could be some some small fixes which increase the speed a lot, like the whole idea of selling a card at a time. Um, like, what if they just said you have to make two actions per per or or you pass? I mean, like like basically forcing people not to play an action a turn. I think that what? that might be helpful. My my idea for that was, and I was thinking about this during the game, is if if you if you ever do two two patent cells in a row you just uh, immediately for like pass the generation um but See, i, I think, I think my, that they should just make that a one-time per gen they should make that a blue action right once per generation you can yes. sell cards i like that because that you can still plan it and you can still do all the stuff but you can't you can't get perfect information so i think i think simply doing Making it so that you can play one or two actions, but if you only, if you don't play two actions, you pass the generation. And two, uh, making um, selling cards a blue action. I think just those two things would speed the game up on average by ten minutes a, a match. Yeah, just the making it so you can't do the NBA thing at the end of the game is right big. Right, and I think that um, I feel like there's the UI could be changed around a little bit so that you don't have to do so much clicking. Like there, I, I, there's a lot of empty space on the screen that where they could post tags and stuff like that. that so that, I, I don't know. I, I think there's a few things that could make it a little better as a spectator sport. Um, for example, you know how they have the milestone at the top. But they don't mm -hmm. tell you who, or they do tell you who won it, right? No, you have to click in, or is that displayed on the screen? I can't remember. Can you see who won the milestones? Yeah. I mean, you have to open the milestone thing. Well, I, um, I, I know Wolf, that's true, but um, I think it would just it would just speed the game up. It would change it. It would be different strategy. You'd have to you'd have to change your strategy a little bit, and it would change card evaluations a little bit too, because the ones that give you an action would be better, right? Um, right. There's no color. That's what I thought. There's no color coordination, so it tells you which ones have been funded, but it doesn't tell you who won it. So like they, you know, like just simple cosmetic things could reduce the number of clicks that you need to make before you make decisions, which I think would speed it up a bit. And um, I don't know, I, I think uh, they could introduce a new game mode where you 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 had a small amount of time per generation, but that um, you got more time every generation. So you know how they play chess clock where you um, it's like you get like a couple minutes per move and then you have a you have a reservoir of time but then you also get a couple minutes per move so like you, you're i think there's a way that they could structure these games so that they move a little faster and i i, I don't think it's necessarily the length of the game that's the problem it's that the speed really drags at the end and um yeah it, it all, most most of the the drags come down to the the actions yeah the actions but I, like imagine if you were watching a high level tm game that took an hour that's a game i would be interested in watching yeah and playing but, but uh, let's wrap it up dude i'm tired you're tired all right um uh, anyway um yeah wolf you should be definitely be able to spectate when you get timed out for sure but um well, uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat of a, a mixed bag today. I apologize, everyone, that I was uh, so pessimistic. Usually, I'm the optimistic one, and Nemo is the. We, we were just, it was like April Fools. Like we were just trying something else out uh, today. Ha ha ha! See, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and there you have it. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching us in the tournament. It's been super fun having people uh, come in and, and, and hang out. And the tournament was awesome. Kaikias, great job. Um, congratulations to Meow for, for winning today. And good luck in the next round. Um, and, and we'll see if we can get some of the commentating going. That'd be cool. That would be sweet. Yeah, we'll offer that up. If, if people can figure that out, um, send me a email or something that I'll probably won't read for a month. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we would love, Nima and I would love to be commentators. I'll be the, 
the brains, the face, and the uh, charisma. Wow. And <laughs> I'm just kidding, Nima. Wow. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally what? kidding, dude. Come on. What, is, what would that even leave me? <laughs> straight. You're the straight man. Oh, okay. So you're the straight man. I'm obvious. Come on. Keep, keep up, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right, all right. No, Nima, pleasure as always. Um, and uh, you know what I was? Hey, I wanted to talk to you, Nima. So, uh, well, let's let's sign off. We'll sign off here real fast. So, go ahead and do your final sign off. Cool. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Catch us on YouTube and Twitch, Cardboard for Mars. Twitter at Cardboard Mars. Keep terraforming. Peace.